With DaVinci Resolve 16, using pre-configured transition effects is easier than ever with the R-Visual Camera Move Transition Pack. Let's see how to do this in Resolve. So our visual has created this camera move transition pack with right now it's 35 transition effects and more to come that you can quickly apply to all your projects. There's zooms, there's spins, there's tilts, there's, there's um, distortion effects, all of that in there and the frame rate that you need for your project. Well there's 24, 25, 30 or 60 as well as more to come in the future. Now what's unique about our visual is that they provide really high quality seamless transitions similar to those created using Adobe After Effects and they don't have any of that fake linear or spin blurs like some others out there and because of that it does require you in many cases to render the cache in order to play it with your playhead but it is well worth it one of the things I want to show you real quick is here's some of the effects that I've applied to my um, my project here but I'm also going to demonstrate how easy it is to uh, apply this so I'm going to take a standard zoom in effect um, from their pack and I apply it here right there and what you need to do is just right click and decompose in place and you just want to line it up where the transition is so you can see the split there and we're just going to move that over All right, and then all we have to do is delete the preview at the top and then the adjustment uh, clip there will uh, make the effect or the transition over the video clip there. Now in order for us to render the cast we're going to need to cut uh, the clip and we're going to group it into a compound clip. And then we're going to right click render fusion output on for the cache and then once that's done uh, you can see very quickly the effect now one other thing that we're going to do here is show you how quickly and easy it is to adjust the target for the zoom say i want to go in that mountain peak there so we're going to go into fusion and we're going to select the zoom in a node there and we're going to move the x which is the zoom pivot so you can either do it with the slider or move it with the cursor. And then we're also going to move the zoom pivot, which is the gray X or star. And then we're going to line those two up. And then we're going to uh, see that you're zooming into that other position. So it's so easy to customize these presets and uh, to really make it really look nice. Now, there's another thing we can do is that is, let's say on the zoom in for the second clip, I want it to go much faster. You can see how long it takes to kind of zoom in. We're gonna select uh, the second clip and then we're gonna go into Fusion here and uh, we're gonna go in, click Spline. We're gonna expand that out. We're gonna select all the parameters and then we're gonna select in the graph here and then hit Control A so that we select all of those in there and then we're gonna push time stretch and we're gonna shift this from the end in so that's gonna shorten that duration now if we go back to edit we look at that you can see very quickly that it, it did in fact shorten the second part of the zoom effect so that's all there is to this this pack's really gonna save me a lot of time when I'm creating projects now in the description below you'll see a link to get your pack that that pack includes Free updates, easy to follow tutorials for the first time, import of the transition effects, as well as the sound effects, which they're included here. So you get them both. And for a limited time, there's even a discount code mentioned below. If you got any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.